Welcome to Vegas Live with Nina. I'm Nina, your host, and I have an incredible. Um, actually, it's an organization. It's a group. It's a whole thing, and they. It's being called the Lucky Seven. It's the three sevens, and I'm now going to find out from Brenda Daly. How are you? Good. How are you? Absolutely awesome. And then we have Mike Conway with us as well. I'm, I haven't met Mike Conway before, but I think he's in the movie industry, wait, something wait, wait. like that. How do you wait, do? Matt. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is a uh, COVID nineteen shake hand. Nice. Yeah, Sterilized. No. Oh, oh, come on. Well, I'd rather have the hand. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> you're kidding. You got it. Now, you. Th the reason they're on, because last week we had another part of this Lucky Seven, which they were calling the Lucky Seven. Seven Film Challenge, And now yes. they're having, now I, I've, I've had several different names. What exactly are you all called? It's the Lucky Seven Film Challenge. And we okay. were directors selected for it. Um, they had 30 uh, entries. Um, I entered because... Uh, somebody had told me about it and I thought well I am because of COVID not working and I've been doing a lot of films so I really wanted the opportunity to do it and I thought yeah. it was a great opportunity and to be in a, in a group now the, the seven that I understand of meeting and knowing probably all of them anyway is that this is definitely a Vegas thing yes this is definitely 100% how did you get into this Mike hey I've been here a long time I actually know all the people involved. I, <laughs> I'm I, sure uh, you do. I love Deborah Richards' film, uh, Boy Meets Girl. I was yeah. I was blown away by that. I saw that years okay. ago. I've worked on Brenda's projects, yes. Mom Squad, Mom Squad and yeah. uh, cool. the music video. Yeah. And uh, wait, whoa, we got he, no luck. Drew Drew Marvick could not be here. He's the guy with the axe and the beard. Yeah. Okay, I didn't so, know this was all happening. Oh, so this is pretty goodness. cool, isn't it? Never yes. mind. Wait, wait, it won't it come out. Yeah, it won't come out. Well, no, they never do because they tighten up when they get right, in there. Yeah. Okay. There's a poster there. I see it. But it <laughs> use your use your feminine nails. Yeah, just get your hand right in there. Pull it. No, I don't this is, it. This is oh, because... Okay, yeah, oh, you had it. You had but it. But I was bending Yeah, pull it. it. Yeah, pull that thing. It's just Drew's poster. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> She's trying to be so that delicate. Was wrong. That was so, wrong. So because Drew is not here, this is his movie, Drew Pool Party Massacre. Drew represent... Which, which I also did the music this for. This is true in paper form. That's right. Yes. <laughs> and this is what he looks like. There's our he lost his nose. Right. He's got a lot of teeth. And he's right. drinking a Hawaiian <laughs> martini, and then, I think. And then, uh, uh, as you know, Jeremy Settles, he's one of the producers along with Ben Stauber. Yes. And, and I believe that's how you say Ben's name, right? Stauber. Stauber. I'll, you should get Ben. And he'll, he'll tell you Stauber. Oh, okay. But, uh. Jeremy's movies, when I first moved to Las Vegas in uh, 93, Jeremy was the guy I heard about, so he had Mr. Ice Cream Man. That's yeah. cool. That was, that was uh, one of his movies. Like when every, when VHS this. was big. And then I went to the um, Gold Coast Casino, and they were premiering Jeremy's movie, Creep, yeah, starring Matt Hale. How creepy Hale. is it? Oh, right. A little creepiness. So it was like that. Jeremy, Mac Hale, and Jim Mills were the guys making films when I showed up here. Nice. And then uh, uh, some of the other people in the challenge, Joe Lujan. This is his movie. Uh, oh, Joe Lujan. Yes. He was on last week. Yes, he was. Yeah, Joe Lujan. So, uh, there's, uh, there's Drew's uh, Pool Party Massacre. Yeah. Now, indeed. I have to say one thing, that Mike is not shy of bringing everything <laughs> oh, no, on I mean, board and showing what they're all doing. But that's the idea. That is the idea. Yeah, so it's seven filmmakers. They're giving yes. us each $10,000. They're raising the money right now in the Indiegogo campaign. So you get $10,000 for, for... To make the film. Yes. But D when you think, you think it's movie. a lot of money, but then when you think about it, you have to pay for... Oh, I'm ready. Th this is a poster in my room. It's Andre. Dale's movie. Yeah, Dale. Dale Evans. Dale Evans, yeah. Dale, Evans. Dale Nevin. The, uh, unwritten. Uh, but I noticed so you didn't bring any Dale of your Nevins. own film. Uh, oh, covers. come on, come on. Come I make so many films. It's I just want to correct uh, you know, Dale's people name. People already Dale know. Dale you guys Nevin, know me, right? right Nevin. Dale, Dale Nevin. Yeah. I just want to correct yeah. that. I said Evan, and it's not. It's Dale Nevin. Right. But, okay. But the unwritten and pool party and uh, rust. I, I've got posters of these in my room, so it's just it's just funny that all these people. I love the you know, I'm like, I'm like, wait, I've worked with all. And then Tamia, I I uh, edited her trailer for um, Why Should I Care. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, so done a little work with Tamia as well, and a so really you're, cool you're, group. You're, good. you're really out there, aren't you? You, yeah. you love this business. Yes. What do you want to do when you grow up? Well, um, be bigger. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't mean bigger in size. He means no, bigger I, in production. I, I love my fudge brownies and half-baked ice cream. <laughs> don't we all? I just love the fact that Mike's such a fan. 
of the local indie films. That's such a great quality to have now, because he's a community guy. Yes, he is a community guy. Yeah. And with you, Brenda, um, how have you seen the film industry over the years? The last, I'm going to say four or five years because it seems to be growing. I think out here we're growing and I think the pandemic has helped the Las Vegas film community because we seem to be more, well, a lot of us are a lot more available than we used to be. Well, that's and for I sure because we're all doing nothing. Right. <laughs> and I think a lot of people from LA are coming out here because they can't make films there. I mean, they're starting to... The they're studios, opening up a little bit. The studios not, are opening yeah. up, but I think that out here we're just a little easier and more a little more accessible. I think so. I so. think. But also, I've never understood why they don't make more films out here anyway, because you've got all the hotels with all the scenes. Right. You've got Lake Las Vegas if you want water. You've got the mountains. You've got the desert. You've got everything out here. You don't have to really go hunting for anything or build anything. It's already here. Mm -hmm. well, and a lot of people from L.A. live out here, but they go into L.A. to yeah, film. Yeah, I've and noticed that. I mean, I, I'm from Orange County originally, and it takes four and a half hours to get from Orange County to L.A. It takes four and a half hours to get from to Vegas, Vegas to L.A. So what's the difference? What's your choice? You got right. Money. So you're another to... bi-state person. Yeah, but I've been out here I've had a bilingual, but now we've got bi-states. Yeah, yeah. Bi-states. Yeah. So what have you got coming up? Between Apart from this... this like, what? Give me a little bit about what you're doing with this Lucky 7. How long do, so is the movie... Um, and how, what do you have to do with this movie? There's so seven, there's seven movies, There's right? seven movies. Okay. So, there, so uh, we have... All of our movies have to be done by November 31st. Okay. Oh, you got um, a lot of time. Yes. But we, I literally started writing mine and then I had to check it and then I started writing another one because I wasn't comfortable with the, it. The one you, you wrote. So, right. So now I have another one uh, doing, but I think it's just, it, the challenge is to get them all done and we all have different time slots. So some of us have a lot of pre-production time yeah. and some of us have a lot of post-production time. Okay. But we all have to be done by the 31st of November. By the 31st of November, of November you have to, and how long has the film got to be? A that, feature length. It's going to so, be a feature length. So we're talking 70 minutes plus. 78 minutes? Uh, 70 plus minutes. So probably, plus uh, minutes. you know, 80, 90 minutes. Uh, yeah. And being okay. that it's got to be shot in seven days, they don't have to be consecutive days, but well, you've only got seven days to shoot. So you're yes. not going to make a, a two and a half hour movie. I don't you know, think so. Unless you're Deborah I, I, Richards. I've never liked know. a two and a half hour movie unless it's really good because who wants to sit in the theater two right, and a half Right, so hours? I'll make something about 40 minutes before you can, you know, get sick. Yeah, so you have, a, you have a time length, you have a length of the movie, and then what about the characters and behind the scenes, the production part? So we're allowed to have seven crew members on That's where location. The seven comes in. And, uh, and you. It, that includes yourself as the director. So yes. you're allowed to get six crew members, which has been really tricky because there's a lot of people I really want to work with. Yes. But it's like I only get you only get so many. Yes. So yeah. so it is a tricky situation. And of course locations are uh tough because I want a cabin up in Mount Charleston, but I I don't really know anybody in that community. So, <laughs> so it was hard to shoot up there. Yeah, so how do you it is hard to shoot up there. So I mean we're still kind of learning as we go. This is their first year. But it, you've been, a, you've made films before. I have made yeah. films before. So yes. this is not such a true, true I've never story. made a feature. You mentioned the cabin. My first feature was called the Black Crystal. Uh -huh. We needed a cabin, and we just shot at somebody's cabin. It, it was like a I've summer never, cabin. They oh, weren't see, there. That's a great idea. <laughs> and, and, and I don't know Excuse to me. this day. That movie was like a long time ago. But I don't. I've never heard anything. To this day, to about if the people ever saw the movie. <laughs> well, they probably never even knew it was taken at that cabin. You know, we had a witch in the movie, and that was her cabin. And so the, the front uh, screen would yes. open, and we'd show her opening, and, but, and then we'd, we'd pan the camera away to the guy leaving, you know, as she's going in her cabin. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it was somebody else's cabin, and we trickery. didn't know who these people were. Was, oh, wow. Trickery. <laughs> yeah. True gorilla. Uh, we call it movie magic. Movie, that's what my, movie magic. Yeah. Well, that's what, well mo a movie is magic, because you have lots of scenes, and you get cut from head, cut to there, cut to head, do this. I mean, it's all totally different. But the movie industry many, many years ago, and the movie industry now is totally different. I think, yeah, you, the cameras are cheaper. You can do so much more on green screen that you could ever do actors, before. And the actresses dress differently. You don't have the glamour thing going anymore. Right. I think you have a lot of the figure stuff going on. You've got a lot of, you know, you've got to show the woman's figure. Is that true? Well, he would know. Sure, that, that <laughs> hasn't changed. They, 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 I didn't think it would. Uh, the, the hot girl still <laughs> yeah, sells a lot. What, but to Brenda's point, she says it's changed uh, digitally, so the lights aren't as harsh uh, you know, like it's more as, natural as they were. Yes, yeah, it's, it's more natural, and 
Actually, you're seeing a little bit more sloppy lighting now, but, um, <laughs> you know, I'm like, wait, there's no hair lighting in that shot. Or, but the way they had the glamour lighting before, you know, was really they, they use really harsh lights. Yeah, and, but I do like the fact that they're doing a lot more musical theater lately, and they have been doing a lot of glamorizing. Oh, cool. That's cool. Uh, you know, when you saw La La Land, yes. and uh, those kind of movies are starting to come back real big. Uh, my daughter was in the prom, yes. so they did a lot. Uh, did you watch that? You have no. to watch that. Oh, my God. But it's just like yeah. an old-time well, musical theater. I have a side member, so I've got all, every single movie that's floating around. They've sent me a copy of it. Mm -hmm. i got a stack of, of movies. Yeah, right. They sent me all these, and I get them, you know, they just send them because so I'm a member. Vote. Yeah, so you can yeah, vote. Yeah, so I go, yeah, they want me to vote. Yes. Oh, is that the right reason? That's why. <laughs> I know that's the reason. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But anyway, so this project is very good. How is your other business going? Is it going good? Apart from the, what's coming up with the 7 Plus? Well, um, Glamour? I Glamour? actually work on strip at one of the hotels for, for my regular gig. Oh, so you can make money and pay the rent? Yes, yes. I, you know, I need my, my insurance. Uh, but currently, <laughs> I'm shooting a feature called Evil Dwells Within, which Brenda knows about. I'm a producer. And we're in the middle of that. We're working around the college kids' school schedule. So we're actually shooting into May. Oh. And I told Ben, I said, look, I'm going to submit for this, but I'm not going to be available till later. So I'm shooting in the second half of August. So uh, I'm editing and scoring the music and basically putting Evil Dwells Within together and then going into the next movie. And we're using the same crew from Evil Dwells Within. To, Probably. There's, 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 there's four of us that uh, we're going to carry how, over. What, what was the first year you started filmmaking? No. <laughs> Come on. No. Tell her. It's great. He's been making films for how long? Uh, 1980. So Oh, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. And I'm you still doing this. And you're still doing You haven't given up yet. No, no, I, I just, I love it. Have you ever had a, 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 any of your movies reach to the, to sort of, you know, awards? Internationally or released? Uh, what or, awards or different things like that? Uh, li little awards. Uh, um, trying to think little what. Little awards. Uh, it can't, yeah, there's like, no such thing like as like a uh, terrarium was a sci-fi movie I did. It, it it placed third place at the Mania Fest Film Festival. So you've had a few of them, um, up there. and so you do you put your movies also into festivals? I literally put each of one of my other movies into festivals, and I just don't. I think film festivals are great, but I'm not. I want the film to be good. I'm not really worried about somebody else's yeah. opinion. I don't actually I want to do. I, you know what I mean? Like I enjoy. I enjoy making the film, and I enjoy the films that I make, and so. I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I See, don't want I'm to say anything opposite. negative. I, my my thing is totally opposite. I'm, I'm more interested. I hope they like it. I hope they enjoy what I yes, bring out. Yes. I hope you want this and I hope you like it. And I'm more for the other person than definitely. I'm never with myself at all. I just ever. feel like it's such a, um, it's a business. The festivals are. They're such a big business. Well, they've become a business. They were not a business. But but, but that's that's what that's the film festival but thing for me. But then that's life. No, I know. And and the thing is, is I feel very grateful that my films made it into film festivals yes. because I didn't know that was hard to do. Very hard. But I'm going to brag. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna brag. Her, I, I'm actually not in this for the money. I, I don't want to live in L.A. I refuse to go there. I'm going to brag, and, though. I'm going to brag. I'm going to really brag. I had a show, a talk show called Voices of Tomorrow. And to this day, I'm still getting awards for it. I've got 125 awards. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Way to go. Wow. That's so, cool. So it's like, but, but I have to. <laughs> well, but you didn't pay money to go in to get those awards. They just loved your show. Well, some of them you do pay to enter them. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah some yeah. of them you do, which you want to do, because I can't say the awards were for me at all. The awards were really for the children. And that's, I really, but that's I, I great. Really, yeah, but I, it, I, I actually produced it and did it. It was mine and everything else. But it really wasn't mine. It was the children. So those, those are really the children's awards, and I reap the benefit so of it. So you got the right focus. I mean, that's where your focus That yeah. was my, at that time, that was where my focus was. And by the way, I wasn't. Bashing on LA, I just said I don't want to live there. I'll, I'll certainly visit. Well, I'd love to live in LA. I, I, oh, I I've had LA. to go meet I, with I distributors and stuff, there. but I, I just don't want to. I, I like living. I actually love the desert. I love a city like Vegas or well, you, you Tucson. Don't take me away or, from the city. I have to be in the city. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I like Not being in, able in to it. get out of a city. No, and when I, I lived in uh, Anaheim I Hills, it was like, okay, I want to go shoot something. It's like, uh, mom, what's over that hill? Another neighborhood, another neighbor, another community. And it's like here, you just...
drive to Mount Charleston or, or Do you know I've lived here all this since twenty twelve. I've never been to Mount Charleston yet. You oh, you go. really need to go. Really need you can come what up are, what are you doing after this film? interview? <laughs> We can go today. We can go. We go after this? Yeah. I need to find a cabin anyway. We can knock on doors. Maybe we can get that cabin. My yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you get a cabin, hey, I want you in. You will it. not find a cabin in the summer because it's cool up there. And yeah. I don't know Mount Charleston, but I know that everybody will mm. be in their cabins. Right. I might have to do the Mike Conway trick. Well, yeah, I don't you, use someone as a cabin. <laughs> Hey, you know what's funny is, and it was that movie because there was like saguaros and desert at the bottom of the mountain, and yeah. then you go up the mountain and the, the everything changes. You, well, yeah, so you see green in, trees. And yeah, yeah. Happening. So one of the guys in the movie lived in Florida, and all his his friends were like, "Wait, how do you have?" cactus and then pine trees because they're not used to like the kind of mountains we have here well it is rather different mount charleston is like twelve thousand. wait feet. a second this is vegas yeah. you know the entertainment capital of the world mm -hmm. the music business of the world right. and the mountains and the desert they're like so, how do you deal with the hello? desert i don't know i'm you gonna go ride on the ski lift today you have everything i think too the uh, filming in vegas is like because we are a small community, and like Mike says, you pretty much know everybody, everybody in knows it. Everybody, huh? Yeah, we're always willing to help each other out. And I think that that was the big thing that uh, well, Ben and I talked about. Well, that's one thing I don't see, but maybe that's in the movie industry. But in the entertainment business, nobody wants to help other people. Why is that? I have no... Well, because it's competition. You know, say there's what? two common, two people in comedy. So is this com comedian going to help this comedian? Of course not. But they do have the comedian... Um, you know, little groups and things that hopefully help each other. It's a very hard city to help other entertainers. Very, very difficult. That's, see, They're to me, it's hard. like, especially with all the everything streaming and online and everything, there's like room for everybody. Well, I think that way too. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. there's I think... room for everybody. I mean, if so, you know, there's a lot of people that, that, you know, I'm starting a talk show, but they won't talk to me because they're afraid. I said, why? I don't care. Because you could take everything away from me, but you can't take the voice. I, <laughs> you I don't know. Things, first impression, that, you know, I might be Different. I, I think too. Everybody's different. Yeah, everybody's got their own little pocket. Yeah, they got their, pocket. Little, yeah, they know, got their so little pocket. They got their they go talk in. show. They're not going to be like my talk show. But no. and I'm certainly not the only talk show in the world either. There's thousands of. No, just people. the best. Just the best. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, yeah, he's the best. <laughs> Hey, hey, is, I is. saw the Nina on show before coming here, so I knew she was going to be like awesome. <laughs> I couldn't wait. Yeah. So now I've got to really yeah. put it on. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. no, for sure. But I've known you a long time. I've known Brenda. I've just met Mike, and it's absolutely wonderful because I love the movie industry. Always have, and I've been in it for many, many years. Um, but in Vegas, it's a little different. But I still think that Vegas could really, really make it here with the movie industry. And I think if they bring more and more people and more and more things start happening, yeah. it could be really 100%. Here Some more they, incentives they, like Georgia they, and New they, Mexico they, did. We they, need the, the film incentives. I talked to, talked to the Nevada SAG president, and she was saying that because, you know, they're going back to the well and they're trying to get that big incentive because if we could get a big mm. incentive... We're literally right down the street from L.A. There is no right. reason. But instead, we got no, no. leapfrogged by you know other states that did offer those incentives. And the thing is, as you say, we're so close. We should be. Well, you've got everything happening. You? You know? Not not other cities or other states have the hotels you have here. You got right. every hotel but, here that's got every scene. But they passed a bigger incentive than we did. And we had one. And then, of course, they gave it to Tesla, which Tesla is a great company. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm just saying it, that <laughs> we are so close. And like you said, we have everything here. I think they're going to have both. I, I think they've got Tesla. This and is I the opportunity. Also, right. And I think right now is definitely the opportunity of, you know, because you've got so many scenes here, so much stuff. Mm -hmm. right. And, and we, you don't have to pay the actors and actresses as much as you do in LA. Yeah, well, it's cheaper to live here. And it's cheaper to live here. But I think, oh, definitely. But I think it's very important that the, this particular challenge ca came to us first. Because I feel like if we can do seven this year, we and then do. we get seven new directors next, next year, year. Yeah. then what we do, we're doing, we're literally time. building our community yeah. and making ourselves noticed. They're also wanting to expand outside of this state, so maybe you should talk to Ben. So we're going to have seven, then we're going to have 14, and then we're going to have 21. And then we're going to have 42. It's going to be cell division right up the yin-yang. That's right. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it goes. 
<laughs> absolutely amazing to see how Vegas and the film industry is really growing. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, there's seven, seven lucky and seven group. And the, the triple seven. seven. Oh, I'm sorry. The seven, seven. Don't the say seven, the triple seven. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. The seven, seven, seven. Lucky. Seven. By the way, the lucky sevens. Is the, my lucky number happens to be seven. There so you I'm go. Very, very That's happy. why we're here. But don't worry. I won't be making any movies. Though I'm a very good director and I'm a very good producer because I produce the talk shows. And, and she is such <laughs> a good actress. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm no. not. No, yes, I'm not. She is. No. She's, no, and no, she's a great no. personality. No, personality, she's great. maybe actress. She's I don't know great. About that. No, I don't know about that. But yeah, anyway. You have a Hollywood vibe about it. You, you definitely Hollywood do. Vibe. Oh, mm -hmm. keep it up. I, yeah, love, yeah. I love these two. They're never going home. <laughs> I want to thank you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to Vegas Live with Ninon and also listening to what we have to say, bringing all these different people in the entertainment business, in the author and the film business. Um, we actually cover everything, whatever anybody may be. You could be a real estate person. We still have you on and find out what's going on in the real estate. Whatever business you're in, we can have you on and we can find out what's going on in Las Vegas and the world. Thank you again. Don't forget to uh, subscribe Vegas Live with Ninon. I'd like to thank um, Quirky Minds <laughs> Media uh, for us, for the studio, and for James Kelly. He's absolutely amazing. Thank you all, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Ninon on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up, and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.